Hello and welcome back to another mount video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. This one I was going to do legitimately by grinding out the, uh, the the currency, but I decided to spend gil on it as the price came down to a quite considerable 17 million recently, um, which is pretty good compared to you know where it started in the 50, 60 thousand, uh, well sorry, 60 million sort of territory. So I'm going to show you how to get it anyway if you do want to do this legit. Basically, if you've unlocked um, Criterion mode, you'll notice at the bottom left you, there's the Sildene Silver that stacks up to a total of 999. This is uh, essentially an extreme mode difficulty. I wouldn't call this normal mode in the slightest. Variant mode is kind of like your normal sort of casual go through. Criterion has its own restrictions, which we'll talk about in a future video, hopefully, if we can crack that with my group of friends. Um, but essentially, this is extreme difficulty, in my opinion. It, it is not just straightforward, um, but it's certainly not savage. There is a savage version of this as well on top of this, but I would I would compare this to an extreme. So with that currency, then what you need is a hundred of those silvers. If you go to Trissant, you'll know where this guy is. You'll see the Sildan silver exchange here in Old Charlian. Just in case you've forgotten, it's down near the hunt board area in the Peristyle. You'll see the Sildene throne for 100 of these. Now, situationally, um, every time you run and complete the another Sildan Subterran, i.e. the Criterion mode, you will actually get four silver clearing. So that makes it so that you would need to do 25 clears in total of Criterion mode, another Sildan Subterran, to actually get enough currency to get your mount. So four per run, that's 25 runs. So hopefully that helps. Next, we're going to be going and having a look at the mount itself. I thought that would obviously be the next thing. Alrighty then, here we are in Thanalan itself. I thought this would be a really good place to look, apart from the fact there's clouds in the sky. But uh, basically, this is the mount. It says, Summon forth your Sildene throne. Once seating the rulers of Sildee, it now serves as your personal mode of transport. Discovered in a sector of the Sildene Subterran, this magnificent throne is believed to have been a spare. It moves in response to its master's will, but whether it does so via the spirits of Sildene's long dead or simple magics is unknown. Very creepy. And as you can see, the hidden text says, huh, huh, How could you mistake me for that overstuffed throne warmer? A quote there of Morgan. So, of course, this particular mount can be used any way you'd like. Um, it does have this very amusing, because uh, this, this is like a footprint, where creatures usually have like a footprint. So you have like a tire track for the bike, etc. We've just simply got a square for this one, which is fantastic. So this is what the mount looks like which is, as you can tell, just a, a massive throne. It is a very beautiful throne there, I think you'll agree. So if we pan around this very quickly, uh, your character sits on it like you do most other chairs. So if your character sits on any of the chair mounts in a specific way, depending on your race, it will be the same here. Uh, obviously, we've got that beautiful purple, that regal purple, and we've got the gold inlay here with this like almost marble finish of stone. This thing looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? It really is a sign of um, sort of, you know, prosperity. We've got the, uh, the fruits on there as well, which is obviously law related stuff. It is a really cool mount and it's not too difficult to get if you can do criterion mode. If not, I would wait a while for the markets to come down significantly because if, if it's already dropped to 17 million, it's likely to go much lower than that. I would imagine in a 10 million range, or thereabouts if it hasn't already at the time of watching this so of course the mount is cool it has two ashtrays now that they're obviously braziers that are unlit either side and this is how it moves much like the other chair mounts in the game so if you've seen any of those before they just sort of hover in a direction that you set them it's as simple as that as a walk mode but there we go excellent stuff if you want to fly that's how it flies Pretty much the same there's no special effects coming off this no like ether effects or anything just a bit of wind look as you can see as you fly around i mean chair mounts at the end of the day they look a little bit ridiculous but we're at the point in the game where uh you know this this stuff already exists we might as well just have more of it um so yeah you you too can 
look like the king or, or queen or whatever of of uh, of Sildeen as you fly around. The bottom of the chair has this kind of like marble indent at the bottom. It's really cool. There's not many people with this at the moment. Uh, some people would say it's a fairly basic designed mount and it's not, you know, obviously it's not a big dragon or anything like that. Personally, I quite like it. Is it worth the guild price? Probably not. Um, if it wasn't for making videos, I probably would have just waited until I cleared the another Sildan, uh, Sildeen Subterran myself. But it does look nice, doesn't it? Oh yeah, one more thing before we wrap up. What music does this thing have? Um, let's turn volumes up and... Oh, interesting. It's actually the music. Like the battle music. Oh, that's nice. I think I would have preferred the piano theme that they have for Variant, but I think this is it's a lot more epic to hear this music, isn't it? Especially considering where it's from. Very cool stuff. I'm happy that isn't just generic Palace of the Dead music or something. So that, that's that's a <laughs> that's a plus in my book. Very cool. Anyway, let me know if you've got this one yet. If you plan to get this one, and uh, I'll see you all next time.